Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today we're gonna make some cute and easy room decor. So let's start crafting. For this project you will need some papers and I used just a regular printer papers and cut some squares, a balloon, some water, some Elmer's glue and a bowl where you're gonna prepare the mixture. So I dump, um, I just eyeball it, it's not a real proportion, proportion here. So I dump some Elmer's glue in a bowl and I keep adding uh, water just a little bit at a time and then mixing it with some a uh, little dowel that I had from prior project. So when I mixed it up and I had enough consistency, I thought, you know, leave it alone. So if you need it, you can always make more. So now you dump each square and make it quiet. Uh, you make it real wet. See, the glue is dripping all over my balloon. And I was trying to go like in a circle. I outlined the top of the balloon uh, where I want my opening area to be. So that's what the drawing is. So if you wanted to make it a little, uh, you know, lower and it's kind of like a vase, I guess. That's what I'm going here for. And so you can make it lower or you can make it higher if you want a skinnier waist. So anyway, you do this process and you put the squares all over the balloon. Then you leave it alone and let it dry real well. So see how it is? Now I turn it upside down and put it to dry. So when it's dried completely, I did one more layer on it. Give it a dry again. And now it completely dried and balloon, it was just amazing how balloon just, you know, kind of came out. I pop it a little bit and here's my vase. And it's pretty strong because I really like it. So what I did, I <laughs> put it on the, this little holder, it's like a candle holder. And I got some rocks that I purchased from Dollar Tree. And if you have some rocks in the yard, that would work too. But I I don't have any. So I had to purchase rocks and seashells and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, so I made a little bit of bigger opening and kind of like, you know, even it out. And I was trying not to make it too shallow. But I think it turned out pretty good. This is how it is. Now I put it back upside down, got my hot glue ready, and start placing the rocks. And I was going kind of like from the bottom to the top because you can go the other way, but it worked for me because I placed this little vase now, not a balloon anymore, upside down, and it's going to hold it pretty good. But boy, guys, when I was done with it, this sucker's heavy, I can tell you, but it looks so gorgeous and it just fits my decor. I was impressed. I'm going to make another one and just stay tuned for that. Anyway, so continue doing that and listen to some music.
All right, so we are super close to be done. So see how it looks. It looks awesome. So I got some reusable bags and stuff it in there. You can use some floral foam, whatever. Oh, you don't have to use anything. It's just a vase. And I pulled up my uh, summer flowers, which is a uh, white kind of sunflowers I guess and I was trying to rearrange them and they kind of given me a, a trouble because the bag you know pushing them back up but I think I worked it through and it finally shaped up the way I want it and one more thing guys if you don't want to use the printer paper like I did you can use um a newspaper or any old paper that you got it's just uh, you know newspaper is just a lot thinner so you might need to do a couple of more layers um and wait for it to dry that's project this project is super easy but the only problem is you have to wait for the glue to dry to make layers and here we go we are done i think it turned out gorgeous i love it i keep switching my flowers around and nobody can even think that it was made from the balloon All right, for this project, I used some seashells from Dollar Tree, and I actually didn't have enough of the same kind, which was kind of uh, making me mad, but at the end, it actually turned out pretty cool because I had enough to make two sides the same and two sides a little different. So what I did, I started gluing the seashells together, and I did like four in a row, and I then went up. If you see the, well, Obviously, you see. So you see the cardboard is laying on the table, and this is where I place it. My seashell. This is just the place. It's kind of giving me the sides measurements, so I don't go too far. And you know, one side's bigger, one smaller, or shorter, whatever. So you, if you a good, you know, eyeball it and don't need to <laughs> stay in frames, then you don't have to use the cardboard. But this is what I did. I did like four sides. Two of them are the same and two a little bit of different and I was uh, terrified if it has really actually gonna match it but it did so you continue to do this I did only four, like four rows uh, because I measured the little base that I want to put inside of it this is gonna be like a seashell box that is covering uh, you know the vases so what I did I placed my vase in there and it looked amazing the height was perfect and i'm like okay then i stopped at layer four if you need a higher and you have plenty of seashells you live by the shore boy good for you i need some but after who you know with my luck after i was done with this project i found two more bags in my stash of the same seashells oh i was mad i wanted to take it apart and make the same one but this gave me idea for the next project see here we go two sides are kind of like a different colors and the two sides are more like a deeper and bigger seashells which was from Dollar Tree as well but they do have two different kinds and you know my Dollar Tree has different seashells every time I go I'm like hoping to get some the same ones and it's like never is okay I secure all four sides using a hot glue and then I make sure I turn them around so they not wiggly so the hot glue holds pretty good you don't need to do anything else here we go this is what it looks like a cute little box now I placed it on the table and I'm gonna go get my uh, little glass waste and here we go this is what it intended for and now we're gonna rearrange uh, not rearrange we're gonna arrange some flowers in my vase you can use anything you want I'm using the uh, I think it's roses from Dollar Tree and one more thing guys if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to click subscribe to see more amazing videos and I got one another one for you right here on the screen but this is all for today thank you so much for joining me love you guys very much and I'll see you in the next video real soon bye for now